Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena and today we are gonna be playing with a Viking Bridge Spam like If we are talking about Viking Bridge Spams we have many variations by now because this deck has been very popular and it has been remade many and many times by many and many players There are many variations of the Bridge Spam we are gonna be playing today the most traditional and the most classic one with Devils, with the Piercing Archer, the one that was pretty much being played from the very day one. So we're gonna be going against theirs in this game with very clutch Bomberman right here and Skeleton Horde to stop our very scary push. So uh, with that being said, we're gonna be playing a Ghost against his Bomberman, getting the two hits on the Ghost, but uh, it's gonna counter push and for some response. And right here we can see that our opponent was forced to play a Steel Hammer. He's gonna play also a Bone Blaster, which is absolutely not a threat for us, because we're gonna just play Twins, kite his Steel Hammer, get a Bliss on the Skeleton Horde, and right now we're gonna get just a lot of damage <coughs> out of these Twins. I would argue, yeah, that's not gonna be a tower down, but it's very close and right now I'm already feeling very comfortable. He must be down a bit of mana, but I'm still comfortable just waiting for him to play the first move. So I'm gonna just mirror the push into the same lane that he's gonna uh, play. He's gonna be playing Piercing Archer and Dark Knight and that's obviously not the way to go because I have the Viking for his uh, Dark Knight and yeah, that's... That's so far the best and the hardest way to counter a Dark Knight, you pretty much cannot get around. And if your opponent plays a Viking against Dark Knight, you better be like a god of the game, because either otherwise you're gonna just struggle throughout the entire game. My twins connect to the tower and it's gonna be pretty much the tower down already, with uh, 35 seconds to spare in this game still. So uh, I'm gonna actually play a Viking in the pocket, since my opponent looks like he gave up and will just grant us the 3 star and without further ado, let's jump to the game number 2. And in another game of today's video we'll be facing GGG, so player who has currently 11 or around 1100 uh, medals, like I said, I usually like to round people uh, to their full hundred, hundreds of medals and my opponent will be playing a Funking first play, so pretty interesting first play. Definitely will try to figure out what deck it is. I'm gonna play Piercing Archer just to get a very nice lock on this. And my opponent will play some Skeleton Hut uh, on the on the lane of the Viking, trying probably stop it, but it won't really matter. Uh, right now, I'm gonna just go in, try to uh, make some pressure. My opponent will play Flying Bomb though, so uh, th that's gonna pretty much. Uh, forfeit our plans of creating a very big push very sad to see but at the same time it's not like the end of the world I'm gonna clean this bomb door and the steel hammer it's time to reset the board and after that we're gonna see what's gonna be the best play that we can make my opponent plays a fawn king on the opposite side uh, against which I think I'm gonna just play viking try to get on the lane where I have the damage obviously uh, and I'm gonna just try to get the uh, job done. Uh, Viking will obviously stumble against this uh, phone horn, and I think it's actually not worth it to make the push. Uh, yeah, because he's gonna just play a bomb girl and uh, stop it anyway. Also, I'll have to be very careful because my opponent will actually have a pretty decent deck against what I have. So I'll have to be uh, more careful. He predicts my... <laughs> He predicts my piercing archer, which was a very high tier move. I'm gonna play some thief uh, to distract uh, his bomb girl and a T-Rex. I'm gonna play twins to get on top of his uh, to get on top of his uh, uh, bomb girl, but he blocks with a phone king. I would say these last trades weren't so good for me anymore, so we'll have to reset, try to defend right now because so far we were. Uh, the side that was uh, always attacking, always oppressive, this uh, fun stuff that you want to see in the game, but sometimes you have to reset, you have to also learn how to defend, and if you do that, you'll be absolute master of the game. I'm gonna actually play the twins to kite the, uh, the Funking, 
He's gonna be playing a uh, flying bomb on my uh, <coughs> uh, on my piercing archer, which I feel like is a very correct move. Uh, he's gonna get away with a very nice, uh, a very nice defense. Obviously, uh, reason being, I don't have uh, too good of a response to his bomb girl, so I will have to just. Uh, uh, improvise a bit. I'm gonna play uh, some uh, devils. Since his bomb girl is locked on my viking, I think it's a good timing to just get a uh, value of my devils. Um, my opponent will be going uh, for the... Uh, 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 this, uh, for the flying bomb, uh, looks like every single time uh, I make the opening. I'm gonna play a piercing archer just to get some chip damage, but I miss. Oh, that, that's gonna be actually a very unfortunate end. Right now, I'm in a uh, serious risk of losing this game if I uh, don't play it well, and actually I didn't play it well. To be fair though, I didn't play this game well, so I deserve to lose. Very unfortunate one, because I feel like with a good play, I absolutely can outplay my opponent. But yeah, that is his life. Sometimes you just <laughs> you just lose. Also, I believe GG had a mirror, so he just played two flying bombs right here. Uh, even makes things more complicated because the way I had to win this matchup was to just split my uh, pushes across two lanes and then attack. But since he was so low on one lane, I was just trying to hammer down one lane. It was definitely not the way to go because he had better cards to trade in this uh, type of scenario. So. The lesson has been learned how to play the Viking Bridge Spam uh, another day, and uh, yeah, that, that's gonna be the game number two, unfortunately, and loss. Uh, we're gonna see you guys in the game number three. And the game number three will be against TTM Sebas, who has 2000 Mels, 2013 to be exact. Uh, we'll start off with some uh, Bomber and T Rex. So we are trying to uh, abuse it by playing Thief very swiftly uh, at the bridge, trying to use his uh, Bomber as a slingshot for our push. My, my opponent will uh, very uh, easily deal with my uh, things though, so uh, I'll have to either reset or try to uh, still pound uh, on his position. He's gonna actually play a Cyclone on my uh, on my Footman, so, so I'm definitely... Uh, I'm definitely happy from the outcome. I believe I'm like 5 mana ahead of my opponent. Uh, may maybe the thing that I'm miscalculating stuff, but I think I have a very huge advantage right now. So I'm gonna just play Viking in the back and around. Right now I'm gonna just try to uh, pretty much uh, get some advantage at the bridge. My ghost will connect to the tower and right now I think I'm gonna just take the advantage of this lane. I'm gonna get a piercing archer to start uh, chipping on the swordsman. Actually my viking will connect so that's gonna be also another huge victory. I think I'm not gonna put, uh, press a pell on the mel so I'm gonna just play a blitz on this t-rex just to mitigate uh, the damage uh, by a slight bit. I've gotten my damage from this attack and I'm definitely satisfied from that. Right now I'm gonna f play Viking right here. Since we are very even on mana, yeah I kinda allowed him to play a, a cemetery right now. But right now we're gonna play Devils and pretty much try to not die and if we... Okay, we, we're gonna die. <laughs> oh no, okay, so Viking in the back was definitely not a play. I thought we we're gonna be fine with that, but we definitely weren't. I'm gonna right now just try to uh, play on the two sides. We're gonna see how it will it end. Actually, twins will connect uh, to his tower. His the ghost will connect to the tower as well, and we get one tower down. We're gonna uh, play piercing archer right now in the uh, uh, in the back. And right now, uh, my opponent kinda has to go into us because yeah, I mean, he he can play poison and be very passive, but uh, at some point, I think. It's gonna be us that will overwhelm uh, my opponent. I'm gonna play a flying bomb against this T-Rex because that's like the real pressure of the position. He cannot wait because if he waits, I'm gonna just play one more flying bomb and that's gonna be uh, it for him. I'm gonna play 
uh, devils just to counter uh, his cemetery and since uh, he has nothing to uh, tank for this cemetery i'm gonna just play one more flying bomb and we're gonna get away with a very nice victory so that's gonna be the win against Plemetry, which i don't think has too good of a matchup against us but at the same time especially i would say with bomb tower because uh, if he had a uh, cemetery i mean uh, the uh, skeleton hut I think he would have a playing chances, but with Bomb Tower it was already very tough for him because he lacked this cheap distraction against my Viking and it definitely paid off. So I would say we had a matchup, but like not, not by a huge margin. Either way, we're gonna jump to the game number four. And right now we're gonna face Chivache, which is always playing Viking Bridge Spam. So we will have some Viking Bridge Spam skirmish right here. Although he's not playing like a perfect Viking Bridge Spam, he's gonna obviously wait for me to make the first move, which I really don't mind. I'm gonna play Ghost in the back. He's gonna play the Necromancer and then I kinda expect him to play a Viking. Uh, so I'm gonna just keep my Piercing Archer. He may be playing something else. I'm gonna play Fifth actually right now because he's not playing anything else. Uh, he's gonna play Twins, which will promptly die, and then he plays Poison, which is definitely bad play, so I'm gonna just play uh, my Twins on the opposite side, just to pressure him, he's gonna try to activate the Viking Tower with my Twins, and that was actually a very nice and creative play, he's gonna get the Viking Tower activation, and yeah, right now I think I'm gonna wait for him to make a move, so I'm gonna just play a Blitz on his Viking Tower, and then I'm gonna just wait for him to play the Viking, and there it is. So, like I've said, Viking Burst against Viking Burst. I think the only thing that I have to care about in this position right now will be his Piercing Archer, because he will definitely try to fight for the advantage. So, Piercing Archer will come uh, in any moment. I'm gonna play some Piercing Archer myself, just to take down the uh, incoming Viking. I don't uh, know what is my uh, tower doing, but I think we kinda held it pretty nicely. I'm gonna play the uh, the twins, I would say a bit late. Uh, yeah, he's gonna get a, a nice cycle against them, so it won't be that much damage. In fact, it's gonna be a way less damage, so this time he kinda knew what he was doing with uh, his cyclone, and yeah. I think we are kinda in a even game right now. Uh, he's gonna go for a Viking once again. I'm gonna go for the Viking once again. Uh, if it works, don't change the plan. And right now, he pretty much knows that uh, if he ever plays... Uh, if he ever plays the Piercing Archer, I'm gonna just uh, take it out with spells. So uh, that's not gonna cut it. Also, his Viking will very hard win on this front, which... Which is gonna be bad, but like, not super bad. I'm gonna play Viking on my own, just to not die and to keep the control. Let's see how it will turn out uh, right now. I'm gonna actually play the uh, Twins on this side. He's gonna waste a uh, Lightning, which is very good for us, because every Lightning he wastes uh, right like this, we won't be uh, having to worry about it uh, in the future. Also, he has to play Twins to counter uh, our Viking, which is ob absolutely perfect. Uh, Ghost will take care of these Twins, and right now we're kind of the end game. I'm gonna play uh, Twins right here, and after that I think I'm gonna just play Viking at the bridge, eliminating the Ghost, and right now we're gonna just uh, try to win it uh, here, and right now I'm gonna play Ghost just to stop his Viking, he won't be having enough uh, firepower to stop my Viking though, and that's gonna be GG's nice plate in this matchup against Chiva Chai, who should be knowing what to do in a Viking mirror matchup, but uh, I think in this uh, kind of situation he didn't have too many uh, troops to contend my uh, onslaught of troops, uh, which Bridgepan is all about. So GG's nice plate, let's jump to the game number 5 and wrap this video. And the last opponent for today's video will be a player with 6 starts as a nickname. Like I always uh, repeat, and I'm gonna repeat it uh, this uh, once more time. Uh, usually if your opponent has a three, 6 stars a nickname, it means that uh, his name was inappropriate and it got uh, pretty much uh, cleared out by the uh, game developer. 
uh, that it looks only like a six stars and not like something that could uh, potentially offend anyone. So for that reason, uh, yeah, uh, my opponent will be having a six star as his nickname. I'm gonna play Blitz here to allow my fifth to connect to the tower as well as make room for my twins to connect as well and that's gonna be a lot of damage very early into the game against my opponent who uh, will respond only to one threat and my devils will deal a lot of damage on the left side so basically the left side right now will be the target but i'm gonna still apply apply pressure to both sides because uh, that's what bridgestone is pretty much all about so uh, yeah, I'm gonna just play Viking in the back, I believe he had a Dark Knight, but if he plays Dark Knight I can easily kite it with a Thief anyway. He's gonna be playing Missile, which is very interesting. I'm gonna just play Thief in this lane, trying to bait out something, and I definitely did bait out something. I don't know if that was uh, a good bait out. I'm gonna play Blitz, because why not? Uh, yeah, he, he gets away with a very, very nice defense, so... He uh, will have a missile, which means that I'm not gonna be uh, able to play any more Vikings in the back because it's actually a good, uh, it's actually good uh, play for him to missile my Viking and pretty much get away with it. So I'm gonna play Ghost and let's see if he plays a missile on the Ghost. Actually, he will. So my opponent will be playing some very dirty spell cycle, and that's obviously not very welcome here on this channel, so we're gonna try to... Holy mother of God. Not swearing on this channel, I forgot about it, but yeah, my opponent will be playing a very aggressive spell cycle deck, which I definitely do not appreciate. We're gonna try to uh, get the win right here now, because my opponent definitely overcommitted his mana, spending a lot of mana just on spells, and yeah, man, I think he's just dead here, because I don't see him ever coming back into this game, and for good. I'm not gonna even cut it, let this man suffer, let this man getting 3 stars, because he just threw missile, mirror missile on my poor... Thief and Ghost, that's absolutely unacceptable. GG's nice played, and with that very energetic accent, we're gonna end today's video beating a dirty spell cycler, not on my watch. And yeah, if you enjoyed this win and this whole episode uh, as well as I do, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you aren't already, because I post Marina content every single day. Uh, every single day and there's definitely something that you want uh, to learn from my videos either it be decks or some uh, gameplay mechanics some tricks some strategies or maybe you just uh, enjoy me playing uh, enjoying watching me play that's how you speak in english either way i appreciate it that you stay till the end and yeah thanks again for watching i'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of boom arena